In this module, we'll uh, be discussing about the construction and the working of an electric motor. Uh, first of all, let us look into the construction. For that, we need to know the different parts of an electric motor. First, we'll see about the armature. Armature, here you can see the armature ABCD, which consists of a large number of turns of insulated copper wire wound over a soft iron core placed between powerful magnets. So, the ABCD is the um, armature over here it is placed between two powerful magnets and then you have the split rings a P and a Q they are the two halves of the same metallic ring the ends of the armature they are being connected to these uh, split rings and of course in the case of a split ring you have uh, the outer part which is conducting so it can conduct the current but the inner part is insulated and it will hold the axle so it is this axle which will rotate and thereby you have the rotatory motion and then the next is the brushes the brushes are stationary here you can see x and y are the brushes and these uh, brushes are stationary and actually the purpose of a br uh, brush is it provides a conducting path for the current to the armature so uh, brushes it just will allow the current to flow through it yes so now let us look into the working of an electric motor uh, now we are going to see the working of an electric motor. You have an armature ABCD. This armature is being connected to two split rings. So it is a split ring which is being connected and it moves along with the armature. So this uh, split rings are in turn being connected to two stationary brushes B1 and B2. This B1 and B2 is stationary. It does not move. And in turn B1 and B2 is being connected to a battery and a key. Now over here you can see the armature is being placed in between a powerful magnet. So the uh, magnetic field is moving from north to south. You have the magnetic field to be moving from north to south. Now let us see it's working. So when the current is flowing from uh, the battery, so it's moving from the positive terminal towards B. So when it reaches B, it moves through a so the current is flowing from a to b and then to c and then to d so here you have the current to be flowing from a to b you have the magnetic field to be moving from north to south now let us uh, look into the fleming's left hand rule so by using the fleming's left hand rule we can find out the direction of the uh, force so now we are going to see the direction of motion by using the Fleming's left hand rule so we know the current is flowing from A to B so you have the current to be flowing from A to B yes the current so the current is being represented by the middle finger so the current is flowing from A to B and you have the magnetic field to be moving from north to south the magnetic field is uh, represented by the uh, four finger so the four finger shows you uh, uh, the magnetic field to be moving from north to south so where does uh, how does the uh, force act it is acting downwards can you see the force is acting downwards since the force is acting downwards what happens a b is moving down so when a b is moving down so now a b moves down and the c d moves up the say uh, a b moves down and c d moves up once when it reaches half rotation once half rotation is over so here you can see the c d now you have the c d this side uh, towards the north pole and a b towards the south pole so now let us see how uh, your force is acting so now again the current is flowing through uh, again you have the current to be flowing through the brush b1 it moves uh, into the armature through d so it is flowing across d c b a so now your current is flowing from d to c yes so now your current is flowing from d to c and you have the magnetic field to be moving from a to uh, sorry north to south yes and so again over here it is downwards so you can see that continuously your uh, uh, armature is moving continuously in the anti-clockwise direction there is no change in direction continuously it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction so this dc motors are being used in many places you can see the motors in fans and many other appliances i hope you must have understood